Sifting through first impressions. Heading home from your first date can leave you feeling a variety of emotions. You could feel elated, joyous, drained, confused, hurt, frustrated, or any number of other emotions. How you sift through the impressions that were made by your date and also the impressions that you made. Don't dwell on any impression. First impressions can become etched in our mind. They can cloud the rest of what we think or feel we know about a person from that moment on. There's an expression you're likely familiar with that states, you'll never get a second chance to make a first impression. So when you get home, close the door, begin to unwind from your first date, turn on the television, pop in a movie, even listen to the radio. Do whatever you do to clear your mind and do not think about the impressions anymore that night. When you go to sleep, wherever you find your thoughts drifting back over the events from earlier, try to block them out. Tomorrow will be a better time to go through them. Why to avoid thinking about first impressions right away? The reason why it's a good idea not to think too much about those first impressions right away is because you are emotional. Men and women, regardless of what men say at times, are emotional after a first date. Good or bad, these emotions will cloud perceptions of how things went. Have you ever had an experience where, at the moment something happened, you felt one way and were absolutely certain about the emotions, but a day or two later, they didn't seem that bad? Let everything slide that evening. Even if your best friend calls and asks how it went, say you'll just talk to them later. The next day. Once you wake up the next day, you're back into a routine. You'll get ready for the day, and then you can start begin sifting through all those invaluable first impressions. Was your date really arrogant, or is he special and his vast experiences intimidated you at first? Did she come across insensitive or distant last night, but you realize now that she might be shy? When you can step back from the moment, you'll gain clarity. Admit to yourself that you're going to be nervous on a first date. It's natural. That means your emotions will already be ragged and tweaked, and when that happens, you'll interpret normal, everyday signs in a much different way. Unless the date was a total disaster, save the analysis of those first impressions for the next day. You'll be able to gauge more accurately and honestly whether a second date is in the cards.